All right, I want to find this derivative, and as I can see, this is certainly a product, so I'm going to use the product rule, where the product rule says leave the first one alone times the derivative of the second one. Well, the derivative of the second one is a chain rule, meaning I would bring the negative 2 down, leave the inside alone, subtract 1, so minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3, times the derivative of the inside, which would just be 4, plus, still doing product rule, leave the second one alone, times the derivative of the first one, which would be bring the 3 down, leave the inside alone, subtract 1, times the derivative of the inside, which is 3x, so I get 3. And now I can just kind of write this a little better, meaning that I see I have minus, four time, minus 2 times 4, minus 8. Now I'm going to write this piece. And I'm going to write this piece as a positive exponent. Over here, I have 3 times 3, so that gives me 9. This piece, 3x plus 2 squared. This is going to the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is get a common denominator, so I see I need another 4x plus 3 in this one, because there's 3 over here. And so I'm going to end up with minus 8, 3x plus 2 cubed, plus 9 times 3x plus 2 squared, times 4x plus 3, all over 4x plus 3 cubed. Now I see that I have a 3x plus 2 squared in common, so I'm going to factor that out. So I factor out 3x plus 2 squared, so that leaves me here with a minus 8 times another 3x plus 2, because there were three of them, so I have another one left. Over here just simply leaves me with plus 9 times 4x plus 3, all over 4x plus 3 cubed. Now I can just simply simplify this. So I'll leave the 3x plus 2 squared alone. This is going to equal negative 24x minus 16 plus 36x plus 27. I just simplified these all over 4x plus 3 cubed. And finally, collecting like terms, I'm going to get a 12x plus 11 all over 4x plus 3 cubed. And that's my final answer.